All right, moving on to another story here this morning. American Airlines apologizing right now. And there's an investig investigation underway after a confrontation on a Dallas-bound flight. Well, videos of the incident have been posted online, at least the aftermath of a said incident. A witness says that it started when a flight attendant nearly hit a baby with a stroller. Then a passenger stepped forward and went face-to-face -face with the airline employee. Here's a portion of the video. You do that to me and I'll... All right, for more on what happened, CNN correspondent Polo Sandoval, uh, as I understand it, mm -hmm. uh, the verbiage, go ahead and hit me, was, was used in that confrontation between the two men. And Victor Chris, it's important to point out that what we have here is a two minute and 43 second window into what was a larger incident that took place on that plane uh, in San Francisco here yesterday. So we don't see what passengers uh, describe as what was that initial incident in which an American Airlines uh, employee reportedly uh, violently grabbed a, uh, a stroller from an overhead compartment and according to witnesses nearly struck the child of the woman that you were able to see in the footage. But what we do see is that uh, what we're about to play for you now, which is that confrontation between one of the passengers on the plane an employee with American Airlines that is now off the job this morning. Take a look. Hey, bud, you do that to me and I'll knock hey, you flat. You stay out of hey, 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 Come on, hey, 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 Go with us where we're going. Come on. Tony, you don't know what the story is. I don't care home. what the story is. Someone's heard a baby. It's not an accident. You keep looking at me and show me what you did that lady. Keep it quiet. Yeah, I can see exactly what you did. Maybe you'll get videotaped too if you get all over the news. And as we understand it, that gentleman in the blue shirt, that American Airlines employee is the gentleman who is off the job. We're working right now to find out whether or not uh, he was a flight attendant on the flight or possibly uh, a, a gate agent there. American Airlines responding very quick. Do a small portion or at least a portion of the statement that was released uh, uh, by the airline saying, quote, we are deeply sorry for the pain we have caused this passenger and her family and any other customers affected by the incident. The statement goes on to say the actions of our team member captured here do not appear to reflect patience or empathy, two values necessary for customer care. In short, we are disappointed by these actions. So again, the investigators uh, that with the airline are looking into this incident to try to find out what led to this and what prompted this kind of reaction uh, from some of those passengers, including the gentleman that you saw there. But we do have to remember that this is happening uh, only about, what, two weeks since the United Airlines incident. Uh, so we are seeing a very different situation here in which American Airlines, I think almost before the plane even landed in Dallas, was already posting some of these statements mm -hmm. and responding, taking very quick action. Good point. Good point. All right, Polo Sandoval, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Well, welcome us through it. All right, CBN, CNN aviation analyst uh, Mayor Schiavo joining us now. She's also a former inspector general at the Department of Transportation. Mm -hmm. In the past, she has represented victims and their families in airline lawsuits. Also, the president of the International Association of Flight Attendants, Sarah Nelson. Uh, uh, good morning to you. And, Mayor, let me start with you. Your reaction to what you're seeing here, and is this happening more often or are we just seeing cell phone video now more often? You're exactly right. It, it, it's a combination of both. This has been going on literally since after 9-11 when pretty much what the crew and the flight attendants say go. And in most cases, that has to be how it is. But it has been abused and used greatly. I get calls from passengers literally every day that have been abused by, it's often gate agents, by gate agents or flight attendants. And here we had the trifecta of trouble. You've got a flight attendant with an anger management problem, and the key was his ID was hidden. When they don't want you to know who they are, they're gearing for trouble. A pilot who was not stepping forward and managing the situation, and sadly, children. Airlines are, and I traveled with two, with two babies in a stroller for five years, and airlines just don't like children. Okay, Sarah, you spent more than eight years, as I understand, directing communications and PR efforts, including holding a, a coordinator position for United Airlines in Boston. Look, I've traveled with my children. I've never seen anything like this before. I've never had an airline treat me or, or my children in, in any manner like this. But if you are on that plane, Sarah, and something like this erupts, what is the protocol? And was it followed based on what we can see so far this morning? 
Well, first of all, I want to be really clear that um, I am a flight attendant and a union representative, and I do uh, communications for the union, not for the airline. Uh, but as a flight attendant on board, our job is to de-escalate conflict. And uh, what, I, what I'd really like to know is that flight attendants are aviation's first responders, and we're charged with the safety, health, and security of the passengers in our care. And there are tens of thousands of flights that take off in this country every single day without event, actually because flight attendants perform their job very, very well. What has happened uh, in the last 10 to 15 years is that staffing have been cut to minimum. Our planes are fuller than ever. Tensions are higher than ever. And in the last two weeks, there has been a pitting of the public against the flight crew, which have, has given rise to other tensions. These employees also on the job are dealing at American Airlines with toxic uniforms, um, pay that doesn't conform with the rest of the industry, uh, cabin air quality events. So uh, in these events like this, when flight attendants are dealing with this, our job as a crew is to help each other out. Another crew member may intercede. This may have started with a routine, routine procedure by the crew, getting the stroller out of the overhead bins, which would be the policy on the airline, and um, something went really awry. And this is not a representation of what would typically happen on these flights, where flight attendants are actually de-escalating the situations and keeping everyone calm. So I guess my question is, and again, we want to be very clear, we don't know what preceded what we're seeing. We don't know what the specific altercation was yeah. beforehand, uh, Sarah. But again, when you look at this video, do you think it was handled properly once the uh, once it erupted? No, absolutely not. This is not this is not typical of how a crew would handle a situation like this. And um, you know, I I feel for that crew who was in that incident, um, and I feel for those passengers. Um, this is not typically what would happen. Uh, I will tell you that our jobs are harder than ever in doing mm -hmm. this, but typically what would happen is that other crew members would step in, help to try to de-escalate the situation, address where someone may be feeling that they were slighted. Mm -hmm. Whether whether that actually happened or not, the perceptions are very important to deal with. And, um, and, and also help uh, get a break if a crew member is feeling like they are starting to not be in total control of their professional demeanor. So we, we really lean on each other in situations like this. And even though our jobs are harder than ever, typically what crew members are doing are handling these situations in an expert manner and getting those flights up in the air in a safe uh, way. Yeah. Mary, it appears that uh, American Airlines has learned the lesson of the United debacle with this uh, compassionate statement that came out uh, almost immediately. Well, well, it remains to be seen if they really have learned or not. And, and I was stunned. What stunned me was the lack of control or the lack of intervention by the pilot. Here we see a clearly distraught woman who, uh, you know, if, if a passenger had done this, had yanked something out of the overhead bin and almost hit a child, the passenger would have been booted and prosecuted, et cetera, because this is a battery. Hmm. And here the pilot just stood there. So what was stunning to me, and I think American Airlines needs to look at the whole situation. Yes, they have a flight attendant who clearly had a problem, by the way, as I mentioned, was hiding his badge. Hmm. Um, and, and the whole situation was handled very poorly. And I cannot believe that they allowed that attendant back on the flight to go on. So I don't think American Airlines has done nearly enough. And the key, uh, the key here is that we see a change in the attitude of passengers. Yeah. And before it's like fight hijackers, and now it's fight for other passengers against the crew. And the other guest was absolutely right. That's a very interesting development, and there's only one entity that can stop it, and that's the airlines have to treat passengers with respect and give them what they've paid for. All right. Mary Schiavo, Sarah Nelson, thank you for your input.